Good morning, fans. Privateer FX coming at you on a Friday here uh, after the Thursday in which uh, the Fed speakers were hawkish, right? Um, that was quite um, quite an interesting end of day push uh, in rates. Here we are uh, at three triple eight three eighty eight eight. This is going to be a very, very tricky day here because as you can see the rates, uh, this 10-year yield chart, they're actually now getting a little extended themselves. So this is this has come a long way from CPI, 362 to low. Let's look on the dailies. We have all of these other highs. What chart does this remind you of? Anyone? Bueller? Anyone? All right, dollar Swiss, 92.90. Um, anyone want to kiss a cobra? Here we are at our little famous uh, 9290 level. You know, as someone who's momentum traded a lot of his life, uh, I've come to um, really despise um, momentum trading dollar Swiss. This high is what? 9289, 9290. This one's 95, I think. Oh no, 9288. 279. I mean, technically, we're through, right? We're at 91 here. It's still early. It's uh, 519 in uh, London. So the monkeys are not in. We traded 93. So, I mean, if you properly traded this, you're already long. Um, just so tricky here. We're using it as a little bit of a harbinger for the European Open. It looks like uh, I have this odd feeling that we're going to see some very good dollar buying here at the Open, but then it's going to it's going to die a death, and and um, people are going to get caught. Oops, I'm on my other screens, but let's see. Let's see, 92.90 here, U.S. 10 yield here. It's the exact same chart on the dailies. Um, for those of you that are blind, um, just trust me, it's the same chart. This is a huge pivot here. First time up, it's going to have some trouble. Uh, that's typically how this shit works. So just be careful today um, on this dollar bullish uh, frantic run. We are a little bit skeptical. Aussie, uh, obviously yesterday was a very good day. Short at the open. Sold 21s, 28s, 35s. Um, the high was 36 and change. The high was exactly 36. Um, took some back going into the number just to secure an average. Then bang. Resold it as we were breaking through 60. Squared that up at 51 and 41. But then we resold it at 81, which was just a piece of shit. It was just, you know, smug. It was a smug trade, right? Like, I saw what was happening here, what the professionals were doing. They all sold 60s, 55s. It was a good trade. It was immediately in the money. This is what they want. Uh, and then they just leave 60 stops. And so like, I don't expect Twitter to understand this, but that's a professional trade for them, right? They, they didn't take any loss. They were in the money almost immediately, and then their stops are super tight to their entries, and, and so they lose whatever, one basis point or, or something. So it's that is actually professionally done <clears throat> by these guys. The guys who left the 81 stops, I don't understand that, unless they were short beforehand. But anyway, refading this was stupid. We wore that up to 05, so we sold 81s, we sold 95s. We were, we did not, we were supposed to sell 99s, but we didn't. Uh, and then as we got back to 80, <clears throat> on the Bullard comments, we just squared it. So all in all, that was a terrible trade. We, we had some risk. Um, on, you know, 
we basically risked 20 to make zero. It's like, ugh. Anyway, um, moving on from that. We've made a new low, uh, but it now it has this little hourly tail here. We just have to be real careful, right? Like, what's going to happen at 7 a.m. London time? Surely they're going to buy some dollars. Uh, surely the guys are going to buy dollar Swiss, especially because um, we're at this key juncture. Dollar yen also is at. 134.90 is also super important. Do we already trade up there? Shit. Timey kangaroo down, mate. 134.80 the high. Uh, I think these highs are 90. I don't know, 77. Uh, 50. So yeah, this is, wow, they're all the same chart. This is a little... So this kind of has to break at the London Open. There'll be all kinds of systems who are trading this. Um, and if you do trade it, just keep it tight, right? So this is, again, it's, it's, back, it's, it's exactly the same setup as Aussie yesterday, 360. Um, you know what's happening. If you're buying at the absolute highs, the key on these kind of trades is to keep your stop loss super tight. The whole point of these trades is there's supposed to be momentum through these levels. My fear today is there's not going to be momentum. Why is there not going to be momentum? Well, like last week we were trading, or CPI, we traded 129.84. Now we're 134, let's say 84, we're 500 points higher. Um, yes, rates are higher, um, but there's a limit to how markets go um the market is not caught wildly short dog yet if anything they're fucking long um it's been not i wouldn't say an obvious trade but the story has been to buy dollars all of the inflation shit is hot so people own dollars they've been chopped around a bit like yesterday people who were short aussie got chopped around a bit but if you sold at the open you're still short right like you know, if you sold it and held it, if you sold 869.30s, you never, there was no pain at all in that. So the market is already long dollars. This just doesn't have all the hallmark um, setups to a good momentum trade. Plus you have dollar Swiss, which is like kissing a cobra. And then you have uh, rates, which are now going to be two and a half sigma from their 34 and you see rates don't often, they don't often touch these bullies, I gotta say. Um, and when they do, it's usually pretty good resistance. So I'm, I'm very, very cautious this morning. Um, I also don't want to give P&L back from yesterday. Let's just see. Uh, stocks, obviously, this is the same trade as Aussie. Bang, it's big. It's bearish engulfing at the highs. Stocks don't look great. Uh, are we going to visit um, 40, 60? Yeah, probably. Um, and are we going to visit that at the European Open? Mm, yep. Sounds a bit, sounds likely. Are we going to catastrophically fall off a cliff? Again, super skeptical here. Um, it's not like I'm going to load, load up for bear and get, get long risk. I'm just skeptical on this long dollar trade. Uh, I seem to be repeating myself, so now I'm going to shut up. The other good trade this week has been Euro Sterling. We tried to like set ourselves up to buy some of this shit yesterday down at 70, but we just never did. We had bids down at 55. Um, this long trade is now over. You're, you're dead smack in the middle of this. There's really no value in being long or short here. This could go back up to 89.80. It could go back down to um, 88 or even 87.5. So that trade, is, that trade is over. Let's look at cable itself. I'm sure there's... So we're through these lows here. This low, I think some Twitter guys will remember this. We were talking about 124.35, uh, saying, wow, this is a break trade. Still is a break trade. Put it in your book. Like, when we make new highs for 124.35, the 
there'll be there'll be a shit ton of long term cable shorts that have to be squared. Uh, but here here is a technical setup, right? So this is the neckline of that of that double top. Is this going to trade today? One eighteen forty. Eh, hundred points away. Don't know. Don't really. Uh, not really loving that. Only other thing we want to look at is dollar max. We've been talking about this eighteen fifty level. If the dollar does turn soft for whatever reason, it seems hard to believe at this exact moment. But oftentimes at the open, when it's hard to believe something's going to happen. That's exactly what does happen. Um, so just be on your toes. But this is quite an interesting level, 1850. We've been teasing it, teasing it, teasing it. This will be the third time tease. Usually the third time tease, um, you know, this thing gets a slap. So be aware. If you want to be short dollars and cute about this and stocks turn um, and oil stabilizes, Dollar max through 1850. I mean, let's take the weeklies out. This is, these are some interesting levels in dollar max. These are the lows here from 2020. Um, if you look out big picture, and some of you may be worried, like what the, what are you doing selling dollar max at 1850? The Mexican economy is doing great. The trading relationship with the U.S. is outstanding. Um, you know, take away, you know the. Forty-two billion dollars worth of cocaine they export into the U.S. Um, they're actually a, a pretty good neighbor, uh, and so this could um, this could easily extend. And you know, dollar max came from twelve. Like most of you who are in your twenties, don't even understand this. So selling eighteen fifties is no bother for us. Anyway, uh, we've said a lot now uh, without saying too too much. If the dollar turns, we're looking at dollar max. We're super skeptical of this open here. We do think they're going to buy dollars at the open, but we're going to be ready to either get square again or even sell dollars. And we will be fading rates up at 395 today. So we'll, be, we'll actually be buying 10 years and fading uh, U.S. 10-year yields at 395. That's what we got. That's what's on our mind. Uh, I wish you all good luck out there, and I won't speak to you until Monday. So have a good weekend. Ciao, 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 ciao.